Well, good morning, everybody. Nice, crisp November morning as we uh, unveil another uh, road project here in Winston-Salem that will uh, greatly improve the uh, flow of traffic here in Winston-Salem. Hopefully, it'll alleviate some congestion there in the uh, Rural Hall Road and uh, the uh, old Walkertown Road area there. So, I congratulate all the city staff and uh, contractors who helped make this, this project uh, possible. Uh, we, we're doing a lot in Winston-Salem to try to make our, our city flow better and uh, Tanique McCullough and her staff is constantly looking at ways to improve the safety and the flow of our traffic in our city and so we're happy today to dedicate this, this section of, uh, of the road. Certainly it's in uh, Mayor Pro Tem uh, Burke's ward and uh, she's happy to get this, uh, this project. So let me introduce Mayor Pro Tem Burke to, for some comments please. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy to be up in North Carolina and especially Winston-Salem, the great city that so many people are talking about. So many things that we're doing in this city making a tremendous difference. I said to the city manager and the mayor and council people and assistants and staff, I wonder if the people think all these things are falling from the sky. It's not magic. It's hard work planning for the people to connect better and do minimal things in this city. I reflected as I was coming down Carver School Road and I thought about a man who used to be on the DOT, Gallagher. The other week I was over at um, Arbor Acres and I happened to see him and he said, Vivian, I see you still giving them, you know what he said, I said, all we're trying to do is make a difference. He was on the DOT, and we were having so many problems with Carver School Road over on the other side where we relocated the new Carver School Road because people were having accidents. Several people had gotten killed. So I talked with him, and I said, you're on the DOT. I just became an elected official, and you can help us to connect. And he worked very hard, and I thanked him again the other day. Because when we realigned the Carver School Road into old rural hall that you see today, that was the results of people connecting, making sure the citizens in this community would have better roads and transportation would be easier. So I appreciate uh, Mr. Greg Turner, our assistant city manager, with his staff and all of you who've been involved to make this a difference for us and for the residents having patience and understanding it may be rough but it's going to get better once we make it like it ought to be so as we open up this motor road as we connect with people i'm grateful to god that we have had a city manager and staff who's been working hard and our mayor and council folks talking to a dot people from the state level to help us to make a difference in winston salem and i especially appreciate mr mcneil and his staff let the public know that we are moving ahead with the streets and roads to connect with people. And God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Burke. I uh, neglected to point out that uh, this is uh, about a four and a half million dollar project, I believe, Greg, and it's a little less than a tenth of, uh, of a mile, roughly. Is that about right? Uh, something like that. So expensive <laughs> per mile, isn't it? But uh, the city owns a great track of land. I think we still own this property over here that opens up a great opportunity for development there. So in addition to moving the traffic, it also opens some development opportunities. So to the citizens in this area, I sort of is going to help uh, help with the, the traffic in this area, and we're glad to do that. So let me invite uh, Mayor Pro Tem Burke and uh, the city manager and Greg, why don't you come up and let's, and uh, Tanique, why don't you come up and let's cut this ribbon.